Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, funny story, I actually recorded all of this a day or two ago. Hold on, let me check to make sure my phone's on quiet first. Yep, okay. Anyway, I recorded all of this maybe... I want to say Sunday. It's Tuesday, oh wait no, it's Wednesday at time of recording. So this has been sitting on here for about three days. I wasn't happy with how it turned out, so... We're gonna start over on it. Not to worry, this will be maybe one, two videos at most. We're gonna start at Safe House because that's where we left off. Sorry, I just kinda have to groove to the music for a moment. Alright, anyway, let's start with the intro. You think I'm stupid? Huh? I look stupid to you? I know you aren't telling me everything. You let me get into this mess. You told me it would be exciting, didn't you? Well, I'm fucking bored. I'm done, man. I've had it. I went out, and you're gonna tell me how. The stupid game's gonna end now, you hear me? Alright, alright. Calm down, man. You don't realize how much trouble I'll be in. <sighs> There's a guy hiding out at the Blue Dragon. A tiny Chinese restaurant downtown. He knows more. Just don't mention my name to anyone, okay? I'm as good as dead anyway. Eh, we're all gonna die eventually. Nah. I've mentioned it so many times, it's not worth it. Mmm, congestion's wonderful. Alright, so, Biker is a bit different from Jacket. Instead of being able to change weapons, Biker has his cleaver and three throwing knives. If you hit someone with a knife, you can't pick it back up, but you can easily throw it into the wall and then recollect it later if you just walk over it. So, watch out! Yeah, that's one down. Okay, do that. And, uh, aim carefully. I don't know if I'm gonna hit him. Nice! Okay, we're good. Gonna fish this guy out like so. Or do that, that works too. Get him. Wait for it. Good, good. Now we talk to the owner. Look here, punk. I've got some things I need to know. So you better answer my questions, okay? Who are the people who keep leaving me messages? And don't even think about bullshitting me, okay? I won't hesitate to pull you apart if I have to. I'll tell you what I know, just don't hurt me! I can't tell you who's calling the shots. I thought they're using phone home to sweep up the trails. I only helped them set it up at the station. You'll have to hack into their system to trace them. I went into hiding as soon as the job was finished. They seem to have some form of political agenda. It scared the shit out of me. I spent all my savings getting this rat hole. That's all I have. Nerd. Anyway. Biker actually can't pick up things along the way. You know how Jackie could pick up masks and stuff? We didn't really see it much in this playthrough, but if you've played, you know what I mean. Biker can only do that after you've finished a level. So this is where we get Charlie. He's just kind of sitting in this pan right here. And once we talk to that guy, we are free to pick him up. So, let's move on. The bike's also much quieter than the... Uh, the car. We're also not going to get any flexibility points because Spiker can't change his weapons. But let's move on. B, not bad. Damn, is this Biker's place? Biker, you got a nice place, dude. Look at that. Somehow you found the rare green and pink tiger, and you just... You know what, man? Good on you. You have one new message. Beep. Hello. It's Mark from Miami Drop-Off. Looks like you missed your delivery last night. We've got another parcel for you today. Please drop it off at Southwest 107th place. Our clients will not tolerate further delays. Right. Well, screw that. We're doing some business. We got business to attend to. Oh, maybe you are doing this. I'm cranking up the music, by the way. Always crank up the music. Gotta pay respect. I said, respect. Respect the killers. Even if they are homicidal maniacs and you're on the receiving end. Man, my frame rate drops on this level. There's just so much going on. 
Oh, that's right. Gotta go this way. Shoot! Well, let's try this again. Go, 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 go! Yes, stomp him. Or just beat him with the blunt end of the cleaver. Where'd that knife go? No, seriously, where'd that knife go? Eh, screw it. Yeah! Who am I missing? Oh, shit! Trying again. There we go, that's better. I got him! But he got me as well. Right then, yeah. Dang it. Try again. And go. Good. Good. And get the guy in the boob stick. Yeah. Excellent. No time to think, just go. Shoot. Forgot about him. Good, good, good. Kill. Kill. And down. Excellent. Good. I almost had the entire floor cleared in one go. That would have been so good. Oh. Dog. Dogs. Good. Whew. No. Shoot. Try again. Go, go, go. There's the stomp. Probably the most satisfying execution out of all of them. How did I miss that? How did I miss? It's whatever. Uh... Dang it. Okay, let's try it this way. Never mind. Left, right, left, right, left. I don't even know why I'm saying left and right. It doesn't make sense. Not again, what's anything I've ever done in this playthrough made sense? I don't know. Good! <sighs> Man. Now I could come and approach them from that side, but then we gotta deal with the gunner there, so we can do this instead! Oh shit! I missed anyway. Hey. There we go. Wait for it, wait for it, and attack. Where's the other one? There he is. Almost there. Shoot. I am just not having a good run with this today. Or at all. Why did I do that? I'm not thinking. Jazzy, gotta think, man. Think, Jazzy, think. I missed. Great. Dang it. Yeah. Whew. Forgot about the gunner. There we go. Now down here. Set up your patterns. Good. No! Dang it. I guess he saw us. So what we do, we do that. Then that. That. Good. And then wait for it. Good. Run. Excellent. We're out of knives. That's okay because the dog got us. I almost dodged that. Okay, what is with the super quick turning there? No, that, that's that's kind of stupid. Even, like, for as much as I love the game, it does have its faults. Its shortcomings. You know what I mean. Shut up. Nope! He hit me and he wasn't even facing me. I can't do that, why can you? Hmm? Doesn't seem fair to me. Don't seem right. I get life ain't fair. But that's defying physics. Physics is an impar- Physics are an impartial group. They are unbiased. You can't just convince physics to work in your favor. You can't bribe it like, Hmm, physics, I'm gonna give you some of this dark matter. See what you wanna do with it. Alright, dude, just go do your thing. No, it doesn't work that way. Alright, that one was awesome up until I missed the gunner and, you know... I gotta, I gotta stop hesitating. That's that's what's killing me. Like right there. That was no hesitation. Ha-cha! 
I said, hush out. I missed all three. Go, go! Whew. Right then. Can't grab my knives anymore, but that's okay. Because I think we don't need them. Do we have a dog nearby? No, we don't. Oh, okay. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Go! And you. Here, boy! And finally, you. Excellent. Oh, look at that score, too. Hmm. That's probably gonna get us a B. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. That was terrible. What am I doing? Let's move on. Not bad at all. We didn't quite beat our score. A minus. Okay, better than I thought. Wait, is this the same day? This... Oh, that's disgusting. Did we just have someone partying here? Cool, if so. New message. Hi, it's Jane. It's nice to see you again. How about another date tonight? Pick me up at Northeast 158th Street around 9, okay? And put on one of those nice suits you've got. You're taking me somewhere fancy this evening. Click. Yeah, I'll just leave the random girl doing her business in my bathroom and pass out dude holding what looks like money. Whatever. I gotta turn this back down a little bit. There we go. I can hear myself talk again. I don't know why I do it, but I just really like the music on that level. Prank call. Oh, we're going to phone home. That's what we're doing. Okay. Well, now we know how all the employees wound up chopped to pieces. That poor dude's lost his head. That guy lost the top half of his body. I wasn't even going for a pun there. I only realized what I said afterwards, so I had to recover from it. Right, get back here. Now you go ahead, back up. No? You're not happy with me, are you? You're scared. You're terrified. Well, you know what, bitch? This is for... Shit, what was I going to say? This is for... Ah, fuck it. That's because I couldn't kill you without a gun. That's what I meant to say. You, sir. That's for all the times you tased me. Oh, security, security! Look, sir, please don't kill me. Please, I'll do anything. This is for tasing me, asshole. Security's dead, bitches. Interesting. North 87th place, huh? So that's where you've been hiding. Oh no. Get out of here if you don't want to die. Okay, have it your way. Does this mean we have to kill Ch No, no. You don't just run in like that, bitch. You had your chance. Biker is too much of a badass for his own good. It's like, you know, he can just do the deed without saying anything, but he, he just has that badass one-liner. Alright, dump girl is going, and so is couch dude. Why not? Hi, it's Ben from Miami Funeral Parlor. I'm just calling to tell you, we have the tombstone you ordered done and ready to be delivered. With little luck, you should be getting it before the weekend. Now that call I'm always a little bit confused about. Is that the group leaving messages telling us they're going to kill us, or did he actually take the time to order a tombstone for a jacket? I don't know. Regardless, we're on the last of the main chapters. We've got the bonus chapter and then the special one shortly afterwards. Hey, it's the janitor. I saw wires and a computer. Okay, so for this, this is what we needed the puzzle pieces for. So I'm going to check that. If you don't want to see spoilers, go ahead and skip forward. I'll put an annotation up above the toolbox. I'll put it just up above this pause sign here. And a... What am I trying to say? Oh, yeah. It'll take you right to the credits because you're going to be missing, you're going to be seeing some stuff after this that is related to the puzzle or, well, related to us answering the puzzle and whatever. So here we go. 
I was born in the USA. That's a lyric too, isn't it? Freaking patriots. What's this? Looks like you need a password to access this computer. Let's try something. Ah, there we go. I see. So that's your game, huh? Now when I when I said freaking patriots like that, I don't it's okay to love your country. You know, that's fine, but when you when you go all the, all out, it just it gets annoying. I'm not just talking any one country in particular. America, England, France. Doesn't matter. It's infuriating when people are like, oh yeah, my country is so much better than you because of this. You know, yours is just uh You know, we're all people. The only difference is where we live. So this is the base of your operations, huh? Infiltrating the enemy. How clever of you. I heard the asshole from phone home last night. What do you want? I looked through your computer upstairs. I thought we should have a little bit, a uh, little talk about your line of work. You don't know shit. Our system is password protected. No one knows the password but the two of us. I was born in the USA. How the hell did you figure that out? Let's just say I used a little magic. So let me get this straight. You're nationalist scumbags. You threaten your members into doing your dirty work. And this whole thing is a two-man operation? You could say that, though we like to call ourselves patriots. You can't tell, but I'm just like throwing my hand out like case in point. We volunteered to conduct this little experiment by ourselves. But I can assure you, we're just the tip of the iceberg. We're setting up operations all over the country. How'd you come up with this crazy scheme? Crazy. What you need to realize is that all you gotta do to get people to do what you want them to is to make them think there will be consequences if they don't. It's a principle our whole society is built upon. So it's okay to kill... or... Uh, yeah, wow, I messed that up. So it's okay to threaten people into killing each other. Look out, man. Don't you see this as a country at war? Fifty Blessings is a foundation for patriots. Our members must fill out a form in which they state that they are willing to die for the sake of our nation. You might remember this. You're a member too, right? And you expect to topple the Russo-American coalition using methods like this. Oh, don't you worry about that. We'll have this country back on its feet soon enough. Give us five years and you'll see what we're capable of. This is just the first step. You'll understand in time. We've got some very powerful people on our side. You know what? I think I've heard enough now. I have no interest in politics. You people have wasted enough of my time already. This is for Hooker. This is for Jack. And this... F it. Not worth it. Let's get out of here. We're done. I think. Yeah, we're done. And now we sit back and enjoy the credits. So, Hotline Miami. It's really hard to put my thoughts into words since I know the rest of the story and I don't want to spoil anything, so I feel like I will save that for the end of Hotline Miami 2. And yes, I will be doing wrong numbers soon enough. Just give me a little bit of time to put up all the other videos, okay? Okay. That being said, you know, we've still got the last video to go through. The other two levels will be a separate video because we're coming up on 20 minutes here. Oh, that felt good. My uh, finger just cracked. I don't know if I'm going to leave that in or not, but yeah. Creative Directions, Yen Twinstra. I have no idea how to say that. But, you know. I like the game. It was fun. Somehow, you know, I found the story engaging, even if it really was ambiguous. This, I think I can consider an example of the unreliable narrator done well. I don't know how many of you have ever read a book called The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde, but that's one where I consider they didn't do it as well, if that's what they were trying to do, and it kind of fell flat because of it. But, you know, that's just me. You're free to think what you will. If you found this boring, that's your opinion. I respect that, even though I think you're wrong. My ear, but my uh, headphone cord just fell out. 
Thanks, Media Bridge, for not making one the right size. Hold on. Gotta get that. Come on. There we go. I can hear again. Yay! Anyway, I respect your opinion. And, you know, no one's forcing you to watch this. You're... I, although I'm a bit confused as to why you sat through, like, six different videos of it, if that's the case. But, yeah. It's whatever. Oh, God, I'm tired. And now that we've reached the end, we just press escape once this stops scrolling. 